she's a queen indeed And she got a cooking skills that's so unique If you don't know her name, her name is Queen Phil Look, subscribe to her channel If you wanna know how to cook, man, she got you Beloved, my handsome beloved, welcome back to Queen's Cuisine. My name is Queen Phil, and if today's your first time, I want welcome. And I also want to say thank you to my subscribers. Today, guess what we're going to make? We're going to make this assorted, delicious slice soup, and this is going to take you to the moon and back. Trust me, you will love it. Come with me to the kitchen, and I'm going to teach you how to make this delicious. All right, babe, so everything is set. I have prepped and washed everything really nicely. So this is the protein that we're gonna use. I've got um, a kilo of goat meat and I've got my stripe. Also, I'm using tilapia. I've got here okra. I've got here Eden fruit, Scott bonnets. I've got mushrooms. Here, I'm using only two tomatoes, but I'm using about three bell, large bell pepper and also onions. Now, here, I've got here ginger garlic and onion a large um, one clove of garlic a big onion and then ginger i've got here peanut because i love the taste of uh, peanut butter in my like it's soup sometimes and then this is the same residue now this is going to be my seasoning for my soup i've got one um tablespoon of um salt i've got um, all pepper seasoning you can use any seasoning of your choice i've got three tablespoon of tomato puree and then this is going to be my fish seasoning i've got fish seasoning garlic powder ginger powder salt and also any seasoning of your choice now let's get started now i'm going to go ahead and then turn on the um heat for the tomatoes now what i'm going to do is that uh this is my spices for my um uh, my yeah okay so i'm gonna sprinkle everything okay and then also with the fish this is my fish seasoning fish powder and everything salt and everything i'm gonna go ahead and pour it because i don't like smelly fish i'm gonna go ahead and pour this residue as ginger garlic onion uh, and all that now i'll make sure that i kind of marinate it and then cover it with a cling film my tomatoes is doing all right now i'm gonna go ahead and then also put my residue ginger garlic onion use large onion a lot of onion use uh, one clove of uh garlic and all that now i'm gonna go ahead make sure that everything is really really well combined so i'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together and i'm gonna do the same thing with the fish and then also um i'll cover it and then let it sit for an hour before we use it for the soup because i want all the spices and everything to infuse into the my beautiful fish stay tuned oh my beloved so my kitchen is really really hot let's see how our good stuff is doing oh so nice and then i think my vegetables is almost ready so we're gonna go ahead and blend it i'm gonna off the fire now the next thing that we have to do is that i'm gonna put my tomato puree this is about three tablespoons okay after putting my tomato purees <laughs> my tomato puree sorry i need to go ahead and then use the clink film i have rubbed all the spices on the fish so I'm gonna go ahead and then cover it because I want all the spices and all the beautiful aromatic smell to remain in there. So that's it. Let's go ahead and then blend this. Wow, this place, the aroma is so amazing. I can smell the goats and everything. Oh my days. Now let's give it a stir. Oh, it smells so amazing. Oh my god, and it tastes so yummy. Always taste your food when you're cooking so that you will know if you need to put salt or whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and then blend my tomatoes. The reason why I use three bell pepper is that bell pepper always makes your food so sweet, like so delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this and also this is about two tablespoons of uh, peanut butter so we'll put everything together and blend it now let's go ahead baby meanwhile our fish is really marinating really nicely mm. Yo. 
all right we love that so this is steaming really nicely it's been like 25 minutes now i'm gonna give it another 10 minutes and also um don't forget to put pepper but if you don't want pepper i'm using pepper okay so now here as you can see i've got my bell pepper my tomatoes my peanut butter so i'm gonna go ahead and blend everything together my beloved yes my beloved so it's always good to uh, strain your stuff so i'm gonna strain it really really nicely and then it depends on the how thick you want your soup if either you want it light or you want it thick if you want it thicker then don't add too much water but if you want it a little bit um, light then you can add your water okay so i'm adding my water nice nicely done I'm gonna wait for about five minutes and then I can put on my stuff. Oh, this is a male goat, not female, because it smells so amazing. Babe, it smells so good. All right, so let's cover it and wait for another five minutes before we pour our residue. This is so yummy. Stay tuned. So my beloved, I've been steaming my protein for about 45 minutes now. Um, it's time for me to add this residue. This is three bell pepper, two tomatoes, and then bed pepper. But if you don't like pepper, please, you're free to skip it. Now, I love this thing, adding fruit. So I'm going to add this. I love the aroma that it brings to every food. Now, I think it's too thick for me. So what I'm going to do is I give it a spare, give it a spare. And then I'm gonna add my water. Now, this is a moment of truth. Now, everything is gonna go in. The reason why I don't cut the head and the tail of okra, my okra is that I don't want the sliminess in my soup. Because if you cut it, you're gonna have your soup to be slimy. So I'm going to add it. Mind you, it's been thoroughly washed. So I'm adding everything. At this age, taste for salt or any seasoning. If you think you need more seasoning, Please just go ahead and then add your seasoning. Yummy. Oh, so I'm going to let it boil before I add my beautiful fish. It's been sitting down for an hour now. Yes, beloved. Stay tuned. So as I'm waiting, I just went down to my car to have some fresh air because I love listening to good music in my car because one thing about music is that when it hits you, you feel no pain. So hit me with music. No, come on, let's go up now. Let's go up, baby. <laughs> Yo, my beloved. So it's been boiling for like 10 minutes now. And the reason why I add my Scott bonnet to the soup is I am pepper freak. Like, I love pepper. So you can crush it if like, oh my God. I love pepper. Now I'm putting my fish. I'm putting my fish. I'm putting my fish. Oh my god. Whoa, I think it's way too much. Mm. And the fish has also got a beautiful residue, but my soup is quite full. So I'm gonna let it simmer for some time. And when it reduces, I'll just put this fish amazing residue to the soup. Yes, baby. It's almost done. Oh. <laughs> yes my beloved so you can have this assorted light soup with anything of your choice it can be rice it can be fufu it can be anything it tastes so amazing like this is not peanut butter soup this is light soup garnished with a little bit of peanut butter you know it's so yummy it tastes so amazing oh my god and also the soup was quite too much so i had to put some here oh my god so it's been boiling for like 10 minutes now i'm gonna give it another 10 minutes and before you know it's it's like it's really cooked you see little sparkles of oil settle on top yes my beloved stay tuned stay tuned baby all right all right all right so it's all done now oh my days i wish you were here to taste the soup the soup will take you to the moon and back, like it tastes so amazing. Uh, oh my days, my days. Can you see a little bit of the oil? Oh my gosh, the soup is really amazing. Oh. Mm. Thank you so much. 
so much i hope you did enjoy this video if you did enjoy this trust me don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed like seriously what are you waiting for i love you guys so much i know i've been busy lately but i'm here for you again my name is queen phil and this is queen's cuisine bye y'all